How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. I'm Kent and today I have a special video for you guys. I'm collaborating with Albert Murata over at the AM Stringing channel. His channel's link is down in my description below. He's an awesome guy. He's very knowledgeable and we are collaborating on this sort of hybrid versus review. So I sent him my favorite poly poly hybrid setup and he sent me his favorite poly poly hybrid. We didn't tell each other what they are, so we both hit with both versions, his and mine, and we're going to kind of collaborate and give our thoughts on each one. So check out his channel for his video on this collaboration versus. So I hope you guys enjoy this video today. All right, so I got my poly poly hybrid in this racket and I have Albert's poly poly hybrid in this racket. Originally, I wanted to string this both up in one racket or the same racket, the uh, Speed Pro that I usually use. But as I was stringing it, I actually ran out of string for the main strings which because it's a tighter 18 main racket. So I decided to just string it up in these. Usually when I do versus videos for strings, I string them in the same racket so that I can eliminate all the other variables. But unfortunately in this uh, instance, I couldn't, I didn't have enough string for the mains. So it's okay. These rackets are both actually, they play pretty similar because the string pattern are similar. They're both 16, 19 patterns, but they're both kind of tight and the cross strings, if you can tell, they're pretty tight in the middle. Um, you can see all the spacing at the top and bottom for the cross strings. So they are pretty tight 16, 19 patterns. So I decided to just string them both up in these to test them. So I'm not gonna reveal yet what these strings are. I first wanna go into my versus full review. I'm going to go through all the categories and I'm going to see which one I like better. And then at the end, we will both reveal what these strings are. So look forward to that. Let's get on the court and let's play with these hybrids. So let's get into this versus comparison starting with the first category of power. Both my hybrid and Albert's poly have a relatively soft poly in the mains, but Albert's is a bit more elastic. So in terms of power, Albert's hybrid comes out on top just a bit, but it isn't a huge gap. I noticed the biggest boost in power on Albert's hybrid on volleys. The hybrid had a decent amount of pocketing and I could punch volleys deep and put away high balls and overheads easily. I like a slightly more powerful response on my reflex volleys because I don't have to work that hard for them. I just have to get the strings on the ball and the strings would spring the ball over the net. Whatever the cross string is in Albert's hybrid is also quite soft and flexible, so overall I could hit penetrating shots from all areas of the court. But my hybrid also has decent power level once the string is loosened up and I could hit strong volleys and powerful flat serves. But with all that said, I would give the edge in power to Albert's hybrid. Next category is spin. Both hybrids get tremendous bite on the ball. Albert's hybrid main is a rough string while my hybrid main is a shaped and twisted string. Both are good for producing spin and based on your swing style, one may suit you more than the other. The kick serve is where I judge spin potential most because the player has to generate all the spin themselves using the pronation of the arm, which is much more difficult than using the wrist motion of a topspin forehand. I was able to hit kick serves that kicked up and away from my opponent's backhand. I saw a noticeable amount of mid-air movement from my kick serve using both strings. The topspin forehands also dove down inside the baseline and I could push my opponent back with my aggressive baseline strokes. Both string setups gripped the ball tightly on slices as well and I could hit low gliding slices that skidded and bounced to the side. So although both setups produce a lot of spin, my hybrid setup with the twisted main strings came out on top. I just noticed a bit more diving action from my kick serve and the ball seemed to bounce more sharply. Everywhere else was basically the same, but because I rely so much on my kick serve to set up my next shot, my hybrid is the clear winner in the spin category because of the noticeable difference in the kick serve. Next up is the comfort. There was a clear winner in this category as well. I like stiffer strings that give a firmer response and strong impact feedback. Although my hybrid isn't arm wrecking by any means, it is still a bit on the stiffer side so Albert's hybrid is the far more comfortable setup. The main strings have the rough texture and rough strings have a thinner profile so it bends a bit more due to the dimples. His cross string also felt fairly pliable to the touch when I was stringing it. 
I would recommend Albert's Hybrid for those who have more sensitive arms, but if you can't handle poly, neither of our setups will do you any good, but stringing at a lower tension may also increase the comfort. Next is durability. Although I didn't break either of the hybrids, I believe this category also has a clear winner. Albert's Hybrid has a rough textured main string and a shaped poly cross. Both strings are on the softer side. My hybrid is a twisted poly in the mains and a smooth poly cross and is on the stiffer side. So with those parameters, my hybrid will be the more durable of the two. The shaped poly will saw into the soft rough mains of Albert's Hybrid and will cause it to snap faster, especially if you are an aggressive spin hitter. Durability isn't a big factor for me because I usually cut out strings before they break, but if you are a frequent string breaker, it might be something for you to consider. But something I'm sure many of you weigh heavily is the next category. So the next category is the tension maintenance. This is usually not a huge factor for me either because I go through so many strings, but I know many players don't have the budget to keep changing their strings every two weeks, so this is an important category. With that said, this category also had a fairly clear winner. For the first couple sessions, both hybrids held tension fairly well, but around the third session, one of the hybrids felt like it became more trampoline-like and lost its control on hard hits. That hybrid was Albert's hybrid. This didn't surprise me because it was a rough main string and if my guess is correct as to which string it is, it's a string known to drop tension fairly quickly. I don't track tension with a machine like Albert does though, so if you're curious as to the exact difference in tension loss, check out his video. I can only comment on how it felt on the court and in my opinion my hybrid setup held tension a little better. Next category, and this is a big one for me, control. Both hybrid setups had exceptional control on full swings from the baseline. Because I have such an aggressive game, I look for a lower launch angle and a bit stiffer layup. Although Albert's hybrid is softer than mine, it got ample amounts of control on my full swings. My hybrid also allowed me to stay on the gas and dictate the pace. On serves, I had pinpoint accuracy with both setups and I could paint the corners with my slices and kick serves. At net, I could place my aggressive volleys deep at my opponent's feet. With all that said, although it was a very close contest, my hybrid gave me slightly better control from the baseline and return of serves. I just had a little more trust with my aggressive swings with my hybrid especially after the strings settled in and the tension dropped a bit. But make no mistake, Albert's poly was very good at keeping aggressive shots inside the line so if you're a big aggressive hitter, I think both setups will do good for you and I loved attacking the ball and staying on the gas with both setups. And last category, feel. This is arguably the most important category for me which is why I saved it for last. I have a finesse oriented game with my placement shots, short angles, drop shots, net game, and slices. I like a crisp and lively setup that allows me to go for high risk, high reward shots that leave my opponent bewildered. Even when I tee off on the ball, I prefer something crisp because it gives me better accuracy and more confidence to attack the ball. This category also had a clear winner and that was my hybrid setup. But this isn't really a fair comparison because I chose this specific hybrid because I like the feel. That being said, Albert's hybrid wasn't as dead as I thought it would be. I have an inkling about what the cross string is and it played fairly lively. Rough strings tend to have a more lively feel as well so I was still able to hit just about every shot in my arsenal with Albert's hybrid. But my hybrid gives me better touch on drop shots and short angle volleys and because I like to close the net, this is a major part of my game. So this was all the categories. I won't declare a winner like I usually do with my Versus series because I specifically chose one of these hybrids. So obviously I would prefer my hybrid better, but I was very surprised by Albert's setup and it complemented my game very well. It was lively enough for my finesse game, but also had a good balance of spin, power, and control for my aggressive awkward style. If you're looking for something a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more powerful, I think Albert's hybrid will probably be the better option for you. So I hope this review was helpful to all of you and I hope you'll try these hybrids. So with that being said, let's review what these hybrids are. Alright, so first let's hear from Albert what his hybrid poly poly strings were. Hey, how's it Ken? Thanks for collaborating with me on this mystery matchup hybrid string playtest and review. With the popularity of poly poly hybrids, I thought it would be fun if you sent me something without telling me what it is, and I do the same, and we play test and review them on our videos. So before I tell you what the strings are that I'm sending, I can tell you this much that the mains are thicker than the crosses. And here are three reasons why I feel this 
thick thin combination works well in a hybrid. So number one is uh, you get the durability and control from the mains because the mains are the working strings. Number two, the cross strings being that it's thinner will give you more pop or power which play the role as a supporting strings. And number three, as for spin, here's my theory on this thick thin combination and how it can enhance the spin potential. All right, I'm gonna use these props to demonstrate my point and they're not to scale. So I have a plastic piece here that represents the cross string. So if you install, let's say a thicker main string here, uh, there is um, more of this string popping out from the string bed as compared to if you use the string of the same diameter here, because you can see the difference there that it's really you know popping out. So with this popping out occurrence, I feel like the strings have the uh, a potential to really grab the ball more because it's just sticking out more and you have more surface area for that ball to grab onto. So that's gonna enhance the uh, string to ball friction. And you're gonna get good snapback because of the fact that the um, cross string is a thin gauge. So again, you're gonna increase the ball to string friction and you're still getting good snap back here. So I hope that makes sense. So without further ado, here's my mystery hybrid string setup. On the mains, I have Babolat RPM Rough in the 17 gauge 1.25 millimeter. And for the crosses, it's a Prince Vortex 18 in a 1.20 millimeter. I've been using this combination for the last three months and uh, here are some attributes why I feel these two strings work well together. So on the mains with the RPM Rough, if you haven't used this before, uh, it, it looks very similar to the Luxalon uh, ALU Power Rough, uh, but it is softer, and it is softer than the regular RPM Blast. Uh, what's really good about it is that it has one of the highest spin potential as rated by uh, Tennis Warehouse University, so I like that. And for the uh, Prince Vortex, it's a hexagonal shaped string, but the edges are not very sharp. So I like the fact that it allows the mains to snap back really well. So Kent, I know that you play test and review a lot more strings than I do, so I hope you enjoyed these strings. And I look forward to watching your video review on my mystery string setup, the Babolat RPM Rough 17 and Prince Vortex 18. And I want to thank you again for collabing on this project. Mahalo nui noa and aloha. Thank you so much, Albert, for your thoughts. And thank you so much for sending me your poly poly hybrid. I had a blast playing with it. So now let's get into my poly poly hybrid. Did you guys guess what it is? The mains are Ytex Quadro Twist and the crosses are Yonex Poly Tour Fire. So these are two of my favorite poly strings and the reason why I chose this setup is because Ytex Quadro Twist is one of my favorite spin oriented strings. It has a, that twisted profile, square shape profile, so it really grips the ball well. And the Yonex Poly Tour Fire is a very slick cross and allows the Ytex strings to slide and it maintains tension and that snapback very, very well, which is why I chose this particular hybrid. And this is probably my current favorite poly poly hybrid overall. I really like this string setup. Albert's string setup was also awesome as well, but I still want to stick with this. So if you guys are curious, I get a lot of questions about poly poly hybrids. Give this a try. Ytex Quadro Twist in a full bed is also very good as well. Check out my affiliate link down in the description. You can get 15% off if you use my discount code to order Ytex Quadro Twist. Poly Tour Fire is one of the cheaper Yonex strings and I really like that string as well. So this is a fairly economical setup. Give this a try. It is still my favorite Poly Poly Hybrid. So thank you again, Albert, for sending me your hybrid strings. When I opened them, I kind of had an idea what they were. And then when I watched your reveal video of what they were, 
I was actually, I was right. Um, the mains were RPM Rough, which is a string I have used in the past before. And I really like that string because of the textured feature. It really bites the ball very well. And I know you're a Prince guy. And when I looked at the crosses, I thought, hmm, this is probably Prince Vortex. And it turned out I was right. And Prince Vortex is actually my favorite Prince Poly. And I was very surprised at how similarly these two strings played. And it's funny because we didn't tell each other what we were sending each other. We didn't even tell like what kind of strings they were, only that it was a poly poly hybrid. And it turned out we both kind of have similar tastes in polys. We both have a slightly thicker main string that's also uh, shaped, mine is twisted, his is rough. And we have a, a thinner profile in the cross string. And I just watched your video, uh, Albert, about the the theory that the thick thin combo gets a little bit more spin. I never really uh, thought about that. I never put much thought into that. The reason why I chose Ytex Quadro Twist 126 millimeter gauge is because that's the only gauge they have. If they had a thinner gauge, I probably would have sent it because I personally like thinner gauges. But what you said about the thick thin combo possibly increasing spin is a very interesting theory. And I've always thought that thinner gauge strings get more spin because they dig into the felt a little bit better. But after seeing your video, I think I might try a little bit more thick thin poly combo, see if that actually works because your theory actually makes a lot of sense to me. So I was uh, honestly surprised at how similarly these two strings played. Although obviously I like my poly because this is my favorite poly combination. Albert, your strings were a very pleasant surprise and I really like this string. So check out both of these hybrid combinations if you're interested, Ytex Quadro Twist and Poly Tour Fire and Babla RPM Rough and Prince Vortex. So thank you again, Albert. Check out his channel, AM Stringy. His link is down in my description below. And as always, if you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.